doing a $30 mini basketball hoop versus a $300 mini basketball hoop. So this is the Scales Pro Mini Hoop, and this is the Indoor Hooper Elite X9 Mini Hoop. And right now I'm gonna review both the cheap mini hoop and the expensive mini hoop in five different challenges. The head-to-head -head categories that we will be reviewing first are the price and the details. Then once we do that, the remaining three challenges will be a three-point contest, a dunk contest, and to finish it off, I guess we'll do a layup contest, because why not? But whichever mini hoop gets the most points out of those five categories is crowned the better mini hoop. Okay, with that being said, I think we should hop straight into category number one, which like I mentioned, is the price. For the price category, we'll be starting off with the $30 mini hoop, which is $30, I already said the price. Yeah. It's a nice, cheap, affordable mini hoop, but anyway. Okay, next we're on to the $300 mini basketball hoop, which is actually not $300. I know, I know, I, I clickbaited a little bit. It is actually $250, but if you know, if you round it up, it's $300, so yeah. Obviously, if you do the math, $30 is a lot cheaper than $300. So for the price category, that obviously goes to the cheap mini hoop, which means it is now one to nothing. Okay. Next category. Okay, for the details category, we're back up here with the cheap mini hoop. And right now, I'm gonna be giving you guys, you know, a brief summary of the hoop. If you guys want, like, a full review on both this hoop and the $300 hoop, I've actually done a full in-depth review on both of them, so yeah, you can check that out. Link will be in the description. But for a quick summary, we got a fun fact, you know, the hoop actually goes onto a door. I think everyone already knows that. Another fun fact, though, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually take out these little door things and then bolt it into a wall like an actual wall mounted mini hoop, which you know is really fascinating. And in case you were wondering about the durability of this hoop, I know it looks, you know, really flimsy and crappy, but trust me guys, this mini hoop is, it's, it's strong. You know what I'm saying? I've literally dropped it out of a window. Yeah, that was, that was in that video. That was a cool video actually, you can check it out if you want, after this one. I think, oh, you know. That's pretty much it. If you were wondering, this mini hoop comes with this exact ball. I actually lost it like seven years ago. But yeah, the ball is pretty much just a typical mini hoop ball. Anyway, let's head back outside. Okay, we're now back down to the expensive mini hoop. And trust me, guys, this hoop has a lot of cool details that, you know, I've already mentioned in this video. So I guess right now we'll do, you know, the, the world's fastest detail review. Here we go. Firstly, wall mounted mini hoop. It also comes with a very fancy uh, leather ball. Yes, leather ball. I think that makes it cool. Yeah, to be honest with you guys, I'm getting kind of bored talking about that hoop nonstop. Literally, my last three videos have been like all about that mini hoop, so my bad. I'll switch it up a little bit after this video. Now that I've given you a brief summary of both the details of these two mini hoops, I think the clear winner for this challenge is the $300 mini hoop. But yeah, now that we got the boring talking challenges out of the way, it's time to do the fun ones. But guys, it is now officially time for challenge number three, which is a three-point contest. I'm actually excited for this challenge. I haven't played on a mini hoop in like, like three days. So I'm excited to bust out the old moves again, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, let's head back upstairs to the $30 mini hoop and start off this challenge. Let's go. Okay, we're back upstairs and I just realized there's definitely not enough room for a three-point contest up here. So, okay, we've made it outside and it's officially time to start the three-point contest. How this will work is instead of five shots from each corner, we're only gonna take three, which will equal 15 total shots. And whichever mini hoop I make the most shots on, we'll get the point for challenge number three. With that being said, let's get it. The shot. Sweet. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I have very important news. Basically, as you may know, I have released merch. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. But I just wanted to let you all know that we are almost sold out. So if you're planning on buying some merch, I suggest doing it now before, you know, it's too late. Also, something I just started doing is every single person who buys anything in my merch store, I'm actually FaceTiming or calling or texting, you know, all of you guys. So if you want to literally, you know, text me or call me or any of that stuff, all you have to do is buy any of the items on my merch store, even like, you know, a cheap sticker. So yeah, if you buy anything, make sure to DM this Instagram account right here and send like a screenshot that you bought something, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, if you do that, like I mentioned, you can call me. But yeah, with that being said, the links to the merch store is in the comments down below. Let's get back to the video. One of six. Oh, I'm heating up. Three-point contest, we made five of 15 shots, which is 33%. No, that's honestly not that bad, to be honest. But yeah, five of 15 for that mini hoop. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take a three-point contest on the world's most expensive mini hoop. Um, okay, before we start, these quarter shots are way closer on this mini hoop than they were in the last one. So to make it even, I think I'm gonna shoot with my eyes closed and my opposite hand. We're back to shooting normal, let's continue. 
One for six, slow start. Insanely clutch play by me, one of the best of my mini hoop career. The score is now one for the cheap mini hoop and two for the expensive mini hoop. I think right now we're gonna do the layup contest because that sounds fun. Okay, how this layup contest will work is right here I have a list of five layups. We have a normal layup, a windmill layup, between the legs layup, 360 layup, and to finish it off, a 360 between the legs layup. Whichever mini hoop I take the least amount of attempts to complete all five layups will win this challenge. Let's go. Down. Oh, I already missed one. Bro. Mm. There we go. There we go. That was, that was sloppy. First thing. Oh, well, final layup. A 360 between the legs. Oh. completed all five layups and in total we missed nine times which is honestly not that bad if you think about it but now ladies and gentlemen we're gonna reset that list because it's time to do that same challenge on a $300 mini hoop let's get it oh okay we've made it to the final dunk with only one missed shot so far Okay, I think we have a clear winner. The winner for the layup challenge is the expensive mini hoop. I think it's pretty clear that this mini hoop is way easier to do layups on. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we now just have one more challenge to go in this entire video. And this final challenge is honestly the one I've been waiting for this whole time. We're doing a dunk contest. How this dunk contest will work is the exact same way the layup contest works. We have a list right here of five crazy dunks. Kind of crazy. Normal dunk, alley-oop dunk, windmill dunk. 360 between the legs dunk, and to finish it off, a under both legs dunk. We're perfect so far, haven't missed a dunk yet. Let's keep it going. Oh. oh. Cool. Still have one more dunk to go. Counting. Alrighty folks, it all comes down to this. We missed a total of six times on the cheap mini hoop. And if I complete all five of these dunks on a fewer amount of attempts with this mini hoop, that officially means that this one is better. Here we go. Ooh. Final dunk, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. That was fun. Alrighty folks, after five challenges, I think it's pretty clear which mini hoop was better. The expensive mini hoop ended up with four challenges won, and the cheap mini hoop ended up with one challenge was won, and that was the, the first challenge, so yeah. If you want a cheap, a fun mini hoop, obviously you should buy this mini hoop, but if you have some money to spend and you want to buy, you know, the best possible, check out this mini hoop. But yeah, also if you want, you know, just some fun videos to watch, uh, check out more videos on my channel. I post a lot of fun basketball videos, so if you enjoy basketball, uh, check out my channel if you want. Yeah, other than that, I hope you all did enjoy today's video, and I am out. Peace.